Hi guys, so this episode will be strictly about the middle row seats and uh, what the features are and um, how they move, don't move or whatever. Um, the seats, they look gorgeous, right? Uh, there's no real doubt about that, but uh, in terms of functionality, they are not all that great. They don't function that well because, first of all, they don't fold and there's no armrests anywhere. So the seats are now in its most rear position to give the passengers here the most leg room. This switch down here is very awkward to use. Um, the obvious uh, forward and backward movements are, are easy. So you can actually push it to move all the way forward. It's about three inches of travel. And then, um, since the seats are like fixed, they, the, they don't actually, the seat backs don't move independently of the seat itself. Uh, so you would think that if you push the top, it would rotate forward, but it doesn't. You have to actually provide a lot of force. You have to push like really hard for it to tilt those few inches. Uh, to tilt back, it's, it's pretty easy to do. You can see that from here to fully tilt it forward. Um, I found that if I want to tilt forward, uh, pu pushing down here is what, what is easiest. Usually when I think of tilting, I use the back. Um, so tilting this way, you press on this, it's very easy. Tilting that way, you should be pressing down here, which is uh, counterintuitive, I would think. Uh, you can use this, but it's very difficult to, to use. So um, it's a lot of force and you have to practically it's almost like breaking it. You can see the my fingers. You can see the imprint on my finger. <laughs> it's pretty pretty bad. Um, so you you actually have to use this and this to do the rocking motion. And this is fixed. So there's there's uh, this little bit that it tilts uh, doesn't doesn't really help. <laughs> So I always forget and it's hard to tell people that you should be using this and this. It's hard to explain, I guess. Um, the other thing is um, there are um, buttons on the rear here to allow for one button access. So you can press it and it will move forward and tilt to allow for passengers to get in, right? Uh, but I found it uh, kind of odd trying to get into that spot in the rear. It's supposed to be easier access, right? So I find it really awkward because there's nothing to grab onto. So what should I be grabbing onto? Should I be grabbing onto the seat rest? Or there's nothing to grab onto. Or the side of the the pillar here or the side of the pillar here I mean when I get in there then I gotta worry about hitting my my head on the falcon wing door but uh, I can stand comfortably up there uh, now that uh, I'm familiar with the car uh, I can get in but there's like this protrusion in the way where the wheel well is and uh, I mean I, I've, I've now since learned to to sit down like this and grab onto this and and sit down but 
um, in the beginning, it was kind of awkward. You're kind of maneuvering yourself around here and trying to get in. I don't think, and then when you're trying to get out, what do you grab onto? You're basically jumping off. So there's nothing for your hands to grab onto except to brace yourself and you're leaning. And basically you're, uh, I mean, I wouldn't put somebody old back there definitely um, that's for another video that's you can't put anyone taller than five foot eight back there so it's a one one button push and it'll go back to its original position but there's something in the seat that uh, actually senses whether someone's sitting there or not there's two things one is if the seat belt is engaged So once the seatbelt is engaged, this button no longer works. But <laughs> look at how it act actuates that seat when I push it once. And then when I push it back, <laughs> it moves that, but this seat doesn't move because it thinks that someone's sitting there. So I think Tesla needs to fix the algorithm maybe because uh, sometimes you do use the seat uh, belt to hold down a child seat. Or if you have like an extension, a seatbelt extension that's using the whole down a uh, child seat, it will not allow you to uh, move the seat because it thinks that someone's sitting there. Um, you would have to hold it. So I have to hold the button and it will not flip forward either. So uh, it kind of defeats the purpose of the ease of entry. So now with the seatbelt, engaged I, I can't get in kind of awkward kind of like how elon did it in in the model x uh, reveal which is trying to squeeze in but uh i can't squeeze in this is ridiculous um so that's one sensor so once i remove the seatbelt works fine so the other thing I, I need to show you is um, how there's uh, butt sensors so for the second row if you look at where the placement of the seat belt uh, attachments are so you look at look at the seat there are seat belt attachment points right so it's um, starting from that seat is on the right hand side right hand side and then left hand side so the um the seat belt sensors no, not seat belt sensors but the butt sensors are actually close to this point i found so let me set up another camera and i'll show you uh how that works <laughs> 